Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and I've got a question for you. Do you rock? Yeah, because <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> you can get one of these. And they will tell you that you rock, because this is a U-Rock guitar, the YRG-1000. Uh, yeah. This will be a demo, I don't know if it, I can even do a review on it. I'll show some of the features of it. And I actually wrote about it on my old blog, because I found it so peculiar. And now I found it, they sold it, they were selling it, so... On a sale now, so it was like I got it for like I don't know the price of four guitar string packs. So I had to buy it, and there it is. And now you get to learn how it works and how it sounds. <laughs> okay, well, um, as you can see, it's not really a guitar, um, it's something that picks up. Uh, I don't know how it works, but it it picks up uh, vibrations that you are hitting the strings. It has actual r strings here. It's like, they're all like 15, 15 gauge or something. But they are proper strings. And then you have this fake fingerboard, which by, by the way, is detachable. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> so it fits in any bag. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, this has like rubber that shows you where the frets are and uh, gives you an impression of strings. So you just press them where, yeah, you'd usually press a string. Uh, it's actually basically a strat scale length and uh, the neck in the back they have faked wood it's all plastic everything's plastic uh, i don't know so they have this fake wood grain in the back to make it feel more like something that's not plastic but the fretboard <laughs> is flat as a highway there's no radius at all and uh, the spaces between the frets, usually when you have a guitar, because of intonation, uh, when you as you go further up, the frets get closer and closer together. And they do here as well, but not to the extent that a regular guitar would. So there's still quite a bit of room between them as you get up here. Uh, so if you find it hard to play up here and to, you know, play chords or something, you'll find it equally hard up here. <laughs> it's a complete design mistake. <laughs> well, what does it do other than that? It is, uh, it's basically a keyboard, a synthesizer, the, like a home keyboard. It has several sounds that are mimicking guitar, and it has several regular keyboard synth sounds. And uh, that's what's built in. And there's some other features I'll show you in a minute. It has a lot of outputs, actually. It can work as a MIDI controller. Would you believe it at this price? I haven't tried it. But it's either the regular uh, MIDI jack or USB jack. You can actually use it as a MIDI controller to USB as well. And um, then it, that actually powers the guitar because otherwise you'd have to have batteries. You have a regular guitar output and then you have a stereo output. and small one and a small input so you can plug anything into it and just play along to it and just you know attach your headphones and go and you have all these knobs this is a regular volume knob like in a regular guitar and this is uh 
since this works as a game controller as well, I should mention that. You can put a cartridge in here. And then it turns into a remote wireless controller for like the PS3 or Xbox. And you can use it for, of course, uh, all the guitar games. And it even has the color patterns. So you can use it as a controller for those. And then you have this. It's a joystick. But if you use this while playing, it actually works um, like uh, it adds some kind of vibrato to it. You have a, a whammy bar, a floating one, you can say. It goes up and down a whole step in either way. These two are, if you use it as a game control, these are like start and select buttons. But if you don't, and I don't, uh, these just toggle through the presets. Okay. Let's uh, show something about it. Well, as you heard, the first sound I played was uh, supposed to be like a distorted guitar. And those sounds are rather horrible. Or like the ones you'd find on your home keyboard. Like this, for instance. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of strange brass instrument. I forgot to mention one feature. It has these metal things here. There are like a mute thing. So if I play a chord, it kills it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's it goes on forever. Or as soon as you let go of the fretboard, it stops. Uh, there are some, I don't know, remotely usable guitar sounds. This one, for instance. It takes a while for it to load the presets. <laughs> Something has happened. It has gone into some kind of open tuning. Let's talk about that feature. It has actually... Let's see. Uh, it has 50 different open tunings. 50. So they paid a lot of time uh, or spent a lot of time on that one. 50 different open tunings. Uh, Let's see if I can get one to work. Okay. <laughs> I had to spend a while there. Okay, here's a drop D tuning. But as I said, there's a 50 ones. And on top of that, you have uh, a whole set of, like if you use a capo duster and a capo, you have from a D tuning, it's like down tune a whole step to even have a capo all, all the way up here. So uh, see if I can make that work. What should we try? Maybe that one, yeah. Yeah. Here it is with a copo on the fourth fret, but you're playing it as open tuning. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay, we're back in regular tuning. And uh, yeah, what else does it? Well, it one thing that it does, and that's rather impressive, is that it understands legato playing. And uh, so, if you are moving your fingers and it's close to the note you just played then it understands that you're le playing the garo so that's a pull off that's a hammer on so but if you do it with a higher interval It doesn't work as well, but when they're close together, it works. Um, they have added this slide. It's called slide. It's a button called slide. And, and that makes, because you heard when I did the legato playing or now, the notes are separated. But this makes it like uh, if you had a pitch wheel on a keyboard. So it it trans I don't know transfers the note back and forth uh, in a more smooth and not I don't know interesting way. find it very musical but that's up to you uh, we have a for two handed tappers there's a tap button and what that does is basically when you're hitting a string with your right hand or anything at all it reacts you don't have to strum the strings and if you it reacts on the one that's highest on the fretboard, so... Yeah, it kind of works, but the thing is when you're used to playing regular tapping, and not playing it on the U rock guitar, you can mute the other strings, and uh, if your fingers hit them, they don't make a noise. And here is a problem: you end up touching the other strings, so you get a lot of extra noise. Okay, for people that can play guitar at all, uh, it has a U rock feature. And this is coupled to, there are built-in songs in this one. And uh, the Jurok feature makes it impossible to play wrong notes. Let's see, we have, I think we have like a, some kind of blues thing here. Yeah. It's MP3 backing tracks, by the way, it's not like MIDI tracks. So, if I play without the U-Rock... Yeah, I can play chromatically, any note at all. So, but with the U-Rock engaged... Just in that case, it was just the uh, pentatonic scale. Uh, I don't know why they have this feature, because um, that really doesn't encourage people to learn to play. I suppose that's how the guitar games work. 
you don't really play notes, you just hit random things. Okay, as I said, there's a keyboard part as well. And you can either play it on its own. Here's, let's turn the guitar off, and it's just a keyboard. And there are several different sounds. You can combine them. So here's the guitar sound and the keyboard sound at the same time. Yeah, and there are several different keyboard sounds. And again, they sound like something out of a home keyboard. Yeah, that's basically it. So there you have it, the U-Rock guitar. Uh, it doesn't track very well on some sounds. It's different from sound to sound. And uh, yeah, you can't really play anything at it and uh, durability wise but it's all plastic and this is rubber so it's i'll give it a year <laughs> and then it'll be probably be broken uh, i would love to try it as a midi controller uh, i would do that soon see how it works yeah it's a funny thing if someone would do something serious out of it it would actually be interesting um since they seem to have gone through a lot of thoughts building this with the open tunings and the fretboard features. And that's rather amazing. The sounds aren't amazing, but the technology and for the price is actually stunning. Okay, I didn't show you. Here's the display and the knobs and the buttons. So here's, you can change for game to music and you have the slide button, the tap button, the open tuning button, the guitar, the synth and the U-Rock button. And here is if you want to engage the MIDI controller and change the backing track. This just toggles through the presets. Okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd review, no, not reviewing, just demoing this amazing thing, the U-Rock guitar. And in the package, you get all kinds of stuff, by the way. You get a poster with all the theory you'll ever need. It's like scales and notes and stuff. Good thing. And you get like, I don't know, some picks, regular guitar picks. You rock guitar picks. And you get this sheet of uh, stickers. I don't know. You're supposed to put it on the guitar, I suppose. But yeah. So yeah. You rock. And here's... If you like Rob Chappers, you can put this one. If you like you know, the Tone King, you can get this one. Yeah. And this one's the best. Have fun. Rock will happen. I'm sure it will. Okay. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd. Uh, guitar Nerd. Demoing the stunning U-Rock YRG-1000 guitar. See you soon. Bye.